Hi everybody, it's Julie and welcome to the messy desk. So today I have, well I have this page I was making. Um, I was just enjoying, uh, well not enjoying, but I was listening to some um, podcasts that I wanted to listen to, not craft related. And so I took the violets from my flower book that is one of my favorite things. And I added it to the calendar. And what I did was I took my calendar. I folded it in half. Okay, so took the calendar page, folded it in half, made sure that this part is on the outside like this. I went ahead and I um, trimmed the edges of the book page. So let's go ahead and grab it because I can use it for another another one. We're going to go to the blue flowers. There might not be any more purple flowers because I gave these to my, oh, that's pretty, um, to the Patreons. They all got a page of this book. So if you are a an Emerald Patreon, this is what I'm doing with the um with my page okay now this time my my that part is going to be on this side but i went ahead and i went around with my corner rounder okay so going around with my corner rounder i used the whole page this is um this is probably my favorite book and um it's got wildflowers in it and it is indexed by color you can see yellow pink the blue and then the purple flowers were in there. And this journal that I'm making is uh, violets. And I'm using, you know, of course I'm using a variety of digitals, but uh, the main one being the purple floral and the violet digital kit from Dear Julie Julie. And so I'm gonna go ahead and I went ahead and I attached that to this page. Okay, so <laughs> let's let's go back a little bit. Used my my purple glue stick. Okay, so purple glue stick. And when I did this, I wasn't exactly sure what I was going to do, so I went ahead and I went and did the whole page. And then I went ahead and folded folded my page okay so I'm going to make one another one of these and this one will go in my um, the journal that I'm making for my beautiful pearl um, this time she this is her third month of being a pearl she gets a journal that is decorated this time she's been getting a blank journal with ephemera and this time she's getting the other. So I'm going to go ahead and put this up. And I'm looking at, because I've already done one. Okay, so put that on, glue it. Now I went ahead and I did, oh yeah, I cut that. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it, cut it here. Of course, that was so that it would fit in the belly band that I'm putting it in. I don't know that I'm going to put it in a belly band in the next journal but I do want to go ahead and I'm going to cut down this edge I think it's kind of cool that it's got that um, torn edge and then we'll go around with this and I have it on the seven love this um, corner rounder it gives you three corner choices um, So that is how I did that. Then you can see I went ahead and I went around it with my stitching one time with a straight stitch. Then I zigzagged and I zigzagged back and I zigzagged forward. And that gave me that messy look right there. And I really, really like that. Okay, so that's what I have for my card so far. Then I, <laughs> I made this page, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and make this page and I'm gonna be making a bunch of them because I just, well, today we're gonna make one. 
but like I said, I'm going to be make. I want to go ahead and I, I closed out one of the Thomas guides. So I have papers or the, the typed pages and I have maps and I'm going to go ahead and grab one of these and I'm going to be doing a bunch of these and I'll just have these for, um, for my next several journals. I'll have this page already ready. Okay, so I'm going to fold it. I did take the perforated or the, you know, the, the edge that had the holes. I took that off. And then I've also gone in and I've taken a, a bunch of the, um, a bunch of the uh, <laughs> dictionary pages and I pulled them out and I was trying to get really the straight edges and that's why I pulled them all out at the same time because otherwise um, I will end up, they'll end up a mess. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fold this page, this side of the page down. And um, what that does is it gives me a stronger edge for a pocket. Okay. Because you know me, I love pockets and I cannot lie. So... Um, yeah, there we go. We'll add that down there. Go ahead and add that. And this is going to go ahead and go on here. And you see, we've got these numbers over here and I'm going to, of course, I'm going to keep those. I am going to go ahead and glue this on. I did, um, decide to stitch it. So... Okay, but that's going to give me a pocket. Okay, so I have a pocket here. I can go ahead and stitch. I went ahead and when I stitched it, I stitched it with a zigzag. Um, for this one here, I had this on my desk. And um, it is from the lined page from my paper pad that I chose for this month's challenge. And then you all know that I have been altering the hydrangeas, some of the hydrangeas in this to get my purple, okay? And so there I have, um, I've done that. Now I might go around and add some other to this. Now this is the one that I'm going to be using for this month's challenge. So paper pad, book with typed pages, book, it's my map book, which is one of my junk things. Um, I added some lace and some fabric back here. Like I said, this is just an extra page that I made and we'll put that up there. And then the violet one is the one that is gonna go in here, okay? This one, I'm gonna go ahead and put it up here with, and the items that I've been making, so the little paper clips from the spring, from the spring kit, um, I think that this is going to be really fun. You're also gonna see that I'm gonna remake the large tag that I made um, for the video the other day. Um, I'm going to redo that. Okay, so the other thing that I want to do is I want to add a little um, tab here. And, of course, using things from on my desk, I have this that says Days of Spring Music. I just want to cover up that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and have this come all the way so that I can see the, all the words, days of spring, and then that's going to go like that, okay? Okie dokie. So don't forget, if you are interested in being a design team member, I've put a call out for design team members. It's a six month commitment. If you want more information, email me at dearjuliejulie at gmail.com. And um, also, of course, come in and say hello 
uh, during one of our premieres. <laughs> so um, that I can get an idea of who, 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 who you are. Um, we just finished our fall and winter. We had our uh, party on Tuesday, the 20th. It was a lot of fun. And so, uh, yeah, it's, it's hard to believe that the era of the fall and winter design team is over. They were amazing. Um, I, I enjoyed everything about, <laughs> about them. <laughs> and so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of purple around there. I may come in and add some of like the vintage photo also, but that gives me a little tab. And then, so you guys saw the video, um, day three. Three, I think it was I made these and after I came back in and I made these I made three of these for the um, so that I'd have some for my challenge for this month and so Go ahead and add that, and I'm going to put it right on top of the belly band. I think that that will be really pretty. And then I need to, I want to hold this down. I'm just going to use some of the gobbledygook. So the little bit of wet that I can get, the wet fabric tack, and then put the cheesecloth down. And that will give me that finished page, and I absolutely... I love it. I love it. So this is going to need one more thing in the pocket here. Um, I probably have that or I will. Okay, so I have shown you all of this and I wanted you to know that I have made a bunch more of the page with the pocket. I did not sew around the pocket for them, but I have a bunch and I will be able to use them in future journals. So um, I did that while, <laughs> while we had our premiere. Okay, so I now have this page and I'm going to use this page for my next thing that I need to make for that's a, 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 re a required element. I'm going to make the flip with a stack of note and I'm going to be using the, my fabrics. Okay. So I've got two pieces of fabric and I'm going to use this map page. I thought it was perfect because it's got the purple and then a piece from the calendar and a piece from my favorite. That way I've got my favorite. I've got favorite fabric, and these are both from the junk part of my kit. That is for the February fabric and favorite junk journal challenge. And that is a challenge here on the channel. And we, of course, have required items that we have to make. And so, um, so I'm going to include both fabric and papers. Okay. And so I kind of want to see what I want to do here. So if I stack those two, I'm thinking this one on the bottom and maybe this one next. Okay. As the one that would be right right under so this is what you'll see a stack like that and so I am I'm gonna turn this this way just because that will give me um, the right size of papers that I need and okay okay so I think I want to start right here that's gonna be um, how I'm going to 
figure out what my what my width is okay that's gonna be my width um, and I did not know that was there so I'm gonna go ahead and I'll cut a little more I like to rip it gives you a straight line and um, it looks it's more forgiving than if you if you cut it okay so that's obviously not straight and that's okay okay so there's that okay this is how much of my the dyed fabric that I have left um, let's see if we can get get a bird okay I want to I think I want a bird bird and I, I want to be able, I want to see the other fabric from behind it. So I'm thinking, oh, look at this little bird. I've never noticed that one before. We're going to go ahead and cut that. Okay. I did pull out a piece so that I do have the piece to cover my spine. Oh, I was supposed to be saving my threads. <laughs> Oops. Okay. So I have this piece. Now I'm going to want it to come and be down, down here. Okay. Now the other thing that I have is my other fabric and I have not used very much of it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut myself one of these little roses right here. This is a Valance that I have. Um, Oh my gosh, we've been using this flance for a long time. It was, um, it was my curtains in when I had my mobile home. Okay, so I want to be able to see the, this little bird. I want that. Okay. So now I'm okay to go ahead and, um, and figure things out here. So next we want our map piece. And remember, I do want the purple part. Okay. And I think we can go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and start it. Okay, so if that's on 10, and this is on f inside 5, that's where we want to be, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and cut that. So I'm mixing my fabric and my papers to give me a flip that then after we have the flip, we will have um, places to write because you know you you want places to write <laughs> so so there's that then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to rip this okay so we get a, a nice ripped edge I can possibly use that so okay so this will go on here and I'm, I'm, I'm not positive about that right there. Okay. So next I have the calendar and do it's like, okay, do I want to put it in, in this direction? I know that I'm going to be taking off whatever that bottom word is there. Um, let's see. Yeah, because this can this can be considered the top. So what if we go ahead and we come over here and we rip that and I'm going to try and rip it right on that line, staying to the inside of it as much as I can, of course, right at the bottom. I mess it up. Okay, then I'm going to come across here. Now this works for this journal because I am ripping in other places. 
if I wasn't doing um, ripping in other places, I would not. I would not rip. Okay, so let's see. Ten. We're still within the five. I just want to make sure I stay within my area. So there, that's scrappy down there. And then we are going to add this piece. And I think I can go ahead and do it right at there. That's just measuring it by the calendar. Okay. Okay. So I have that piece that I'm going to be able to use for something else. And I'm going to go ahead, put this under here. Do I want the line? Yeah, I think I do want the line over here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and come over here and start my, start my ripping. Now, all of these ripped pieces, I can use those as edges on the things. Okay, so there's that. Go ahead and rip. There's white on the inside of this paper. So this paper is like dyed on the top. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna take that. Okay, so I have those pieces, and it's going to go like, like this. Okay, so there's my, this down here. So I'm going to do like you, like we do a stack a note. So I'm going to go ahead, of course, stack a note is usually um, three of the same, three or more of the same thing but it's kind of the same idea. So we're gonna stack these on top of each other. Wanna leave this, make sure that we've got a nice messy note thing happening down here at the bottom. That's, that's what I want. Okay, now um, this one is straight on both sides. I'm okay with that. Um, let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and Fold this over. Okay, that's gonna give me my third piece. Okay. Then we're going to go, remember I have this one that's crooked. I love that. Let's go ahead and, okay, I'm going to cut that one there and I'm going to cut this one up, up here. Okay, so this one and then Pull my strings, save them. What did I call them yesterday? I called them silly strings. <laughs> okay, that one. Okay. Okay, so I am going to put this piece down. I'm gonna use fabric tack now. I'm switching to fabric tack. Now I could use that, but because I'm doing a video here I'm gonna um, let's go ahead and grab some more strings any day now there we go I've really got to go sit down and make an Amazon order I 
actually need some things and I I'm not gonna go to town I don't want to I mean I could oh did I no that's right I want to see the little bird I want the bird to be on here and so I'm gonna go ahead and come up here and I'm gonna have this hang over okay so it's gonna come over it'll make it a nice a nice edge okay so nice edge and then that birdie is going to be up there over the top okay I like that so let's go ahead and put this on it's just kind of fun to play with the placement of things and um, so I have the, the birds, three, three birds on here, and there's one here and one here. I really like that. Okay. So this is my flip. Okay. So fabric, fabric, paper, paper, paper. I, st I just don't know. I could do the rows or do this over here. I just don't think I want to put this on here. Uh, you know what I have? I have, I made three of these um, the other day. So I have one of these. I think, I think I want to put that on here. As, yeah, that's, I'm going to put that down here. Should I, should it have that? And that? No. <laughs> nope. I already put glue on it, so. No. I think that this should go on here. Gobbledygook. Oh, my. F so, we just finished the premiere, Wednesday's premiere, and my feet were so cold that I went and I made coffee. I put on another pair of socks and I put my slippers on and my feet right now feel toasty, warm, and good. <laughs> so that is, that is cool. So this thread here was from one of the little baggies from a sweater. It had the button and the thread in it. Um, this is my flower that I added in as my favorite, and I get to use that because I did the other bonus. So I got to add a fifth favorite. So this will come up. You know what? I think we should put a little piece of paper in here. Um, okay. So you can write there. So let's figure out if I if I rip it across right here. And then we'll rip the side also. So uh, we still we still have space on the design team. If you are interested, email me at dearjuliejulie at gmail.com. And um, I can get you the information. And let's see if you would be a fit, if you would like to, to, um, to do that. It is a six-month commitment. I will be introducing, or I will tell y'all who the team is at the end of February, beginning of March. We will have an introduction reveal party in March and then they will do their first project for April. You know what? What if we go ahead and we add this third piece? I mean, that way we don't have any any well, we still have a couple scraps, but you know what I mean. Okay, and go ahead. That could be regular glue cuz there's no fabric there. Okay. And 
There we go. Okay, so it's kind of a, a waterfall flip, okay? So we have flip, paper, flip, little note, flip, 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 okay? And we are putting all of these on to the other page, okay? So this will be on this page and um, and I am, okay, first of all, I need to un undo this right here. I'm fine with that. And I am going to glue down the bottom purple page. Okay, so I'm going to glue that to the back. So just going around the edges. I'm not going to make it a pocket. I think we're already bulky enough for this page. Um, we do have a ruffle happening on the edge, so um, that would also be bulky. So that works out. Uh, I think that works out really good that we've we've got that happening. So let's go ahead and there we go. Okay, and we used one of the the little clusters that I had made. Um, after I made the video the other day, I went ahead and I was like, well, I need some clusters for my challenge journal. And so I went ahead and I made three little clusters. So we used one here with a heart Brad. Remember, Brad's are one of the things I added. I used this one that had the circle Brad. And so this comes up. We have the paper. We have this. We have paper. We have the purple map, or lavender map, the calendar page, and then this page is glued down, okay? So um, I really, really like that. I did make it so that this comes out the top. We've got this coming out the edge, and I really like that. So I have my fabric, my favorite, my other, and then, um, well, the cluster, I could have counted that, but I didn't. Uh, so I need to add three more things in here. Because if I would have made the cluster in front of you, then I could have counted those things. But, you know, just just to, to be, to do it right, um, I, I won't, I won't cheat. Okay, um, however, I cannot find my book <laughs> to use to go ahead and ink on top of. Where did my book go? Okay, well, here's my other one. Look at, we're getting close to having used all of it. So inking counts as a, as an enhancement. So let's go ahead and we'll put this down and I'm just gonna ink on a couple of these. Okay, and then go ahead and stamp, give it a, Stamp it and we'll stamp with the stamp set that I've been using. This is the newest one that I got from Spectrum Art Creations. And I'm excited because the um, Emerald Patreons are going to get. I bought an extra one of these that I'm going to be able to take apart and give them some some words. So I'd forgotten I did that, but it came and I was like, oh, okay. Oh, look what I just did. Huh. Well, it has a double. That's okay. <laughs> you, you do what you do, Julie, Julie. My hand is just 
been having a mind of its own. Actually, that looks kind of cool. Um, okay, so, um, so stamping, inking, inking and stamping we have done. That's two things. And so, um, I really like that though. Um, hmm. I really want to use the new newest stencil that I got, but I don't remember where I put it. <laughs> I didn't, I don't have a place to hang them right now, so. Okay, well, let's go down here. What do we have? We'll go ahead and we'll stencil. Oh, you know what we've been using for a stencil this time? We've been using this. It has been a great stencil. Okay, so for little dots. Okay, I like that. I may come over and add a little bit over here. Whoa. one off I guess okay okay so we need to have three embellishments or enhancements on on the item that is a required item so if I had not already made this and then I made it and added it I mean I made it right now and put it on there um, those things would have counted the, um, the string, the, um, and that came from, um, well, this one came from the other. And so the, th the different things, there's this, a staple in there. The flowers is from my favorite, but all of that would have been able to count. So we have my little pocket page that, I think is going to be a great addition and um and then the flip that is the actually one of the things i needed to make and so i'm really excited to have that to be able to add in here and i think what i'm going to do is where'd my book page go put this up And we'll go ahead and add dots to that. Okay, there we go. I love it. I love it. I love it. So um, my flip, let's make sure we did what we needed to do. Um, flip with stack a note. And so there you go. Um, and I used my, my clusters. And then um, this, like I said, this is an extra. Oh, we could could have used. Go ahead and put that on there. Okay, so there you go, and it is finished. Uh, don't forget tomorrow we have our Friday Fun Day, so I hope you will join us. Also, watch for my day five. Um, 100 day project video using a Dear Julie Julie digital. Don't forget that the, um, which ones are on sale? You've got your spring floral is on sale. The antique 
children's Bible verses is still on sale. And whatever is in today's vi video is also on sale. Also, all of the uh, digitals that the design team used in their projects for April are on sale through Sunday. And tomorrow is our Friday fun day. That'll be at 1030 Pacific Standard Time live. You can pick up the freebie in the Dear Julie Julie Patreon, which is patreon.com slash Dear Julie Julie. Um, you can pick that up in the public section. It is free. You can also pick it up at buymeacoffee.com slash Dear Julie Julie. And it is also available in the Crafty Community um, Facebook group. Okay? Find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye. If you're still here, put antique ribbon technique, antique ribbon technique, because I forgot that that was the other thing I wanted to add to this. So I am going to go ahead and I'm going to measure my page, okay? And I'm going to have a little bit of overhang and I'm going to come back in and I'm going to cut this, okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and grab my... <laughs> Crocodile, and I'm going to come up here and kind of figure out where the middle is, sort of. I want my small hole for the hole punch, and I'm going to go ahead and put, I want to be up high though, because I want to be above that bird. So I'm going to go like that. I'm going to come over, leaving about three-eighths of an inch between the two, and come over and cut my hole there as well. I have some ribbon here that, a ribbon, this is a needle. I have a needle, and I am going to use it. This is like a carpet needle or a darning needle or something. It's one of the big, weird needles you get when you buy a needle. Um, by pins and needles <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead put that through I'm gonna pull it up to where it's just inside the page okay just inside the page there I'm gonna go ahead and I want it even though it came through that one I want it to go through the paper so I'm gonna come back up I'm gonna look at that I want to bring it in just a little bit more okay because I need that much twice. Okay, we can go back to where we were. We did good. Okay, so I'm going to come over, back over to the hole that we started with. And I'm going to move my, my ribbon out of the way. And whoop. Okay. okay, I'm going to start pulling it through. Make sure that my ribbon is going to pull flat. See so like that? Then I'm going to come over and I'm going to come back up through the other hole. Okay, come back up through the other hole. And I want to make sure that back here I am flat. Okay, flat and flat, and then I can go ahead and pull it, and there is my antique ribbon technique. This one is called the tie, and I am going to cut my ribbon at an angle, and then decide if you want to go ahead and... <laughs> okay. I want a little bit of that glue on there. I do want mine to um, hang out. I don't want it to be loose. On the cards that I found this on that were antique and vintage cards, 
um, they were not, they were not tacked down, but I, I, I tend to tack them down because I don't want the, the ribbons all over the place. And so, yeah, so put antique ribbon technique in the comments down below. And thank you so much for hanging out and staying for the whole thing. And there we go. I love, I love it. I love it. Find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day. Don't forget to put that down there. Bye. Bye-bye.